She's a bright girl. She sure is. And this means she can go on to school in the city and right through her nurse's training. It's what she's always wanted. She may not. What? You know, old Brannigan, all he's going to worry about is who's going to do his chores for him. <laughs> but if she wants to go, maybe she doesn't. She seems pretty fond of her old dad for some reason. Fond of that old buzzard? Ready for dinner now, Pa? Ready as I'll ever be, girl. Quick, dry again. Ah, water. Water, that was always the problem with this place. Too much in spring and a drought for the rest of the year. Pa? If only we had enough money to build a pond. Pa, you know what? Will you look at that? Fit for a king. I don't know what in the wide world I'd ever do without you. Oh, I guess you'd manage all right. No, I could never run this farm alone. You're too modest. I do like that, modesty. Runs in the family. Well, you could get someone in to take care of the house. Who would run it as well as you? Oh, you're like all the Brannigan women. They were born homemakers. You know something? I think you ought to finish with school. A bright girl like yourself will have picked up all the learning she needs by this time. Listen, Pop. You ought to settle down. Then in a year or two, maybe you'll meet some nice young fella and get married. And after a bit, he'll take over the farm and you'll both be a great solace to your poor old father in his declining years. Pop, I've won a scholarship. I wouldn't say no to a bit more of that. What kind of a scholarship? Well, it was open for all the children under 15 in the county. And I came out on top. Well, now, did you? Would you credit it? That's great. That's just great. You don't mind? Mind? Why, of course not. I'm proud of you. Ah, oh, but all the Brannigans were great on learning. Isn't it the great triumph to end your school days on? But that's just it. I don't need to end them. I can go right on to another school. Right through my nurse's training. And you know how much I always wanted that. And it won't cost you a cent. Honest, Pop, it won't. 
dreams go. Dreams. Ah, well, you go on dreaming. Life is short, and soon you'll be up against the hard realities of this wicked world. Whatever your poor old dad may do to protect you from them. Pop, I'm trying to tell you. Well, these aren't dreams. There's nothing to stop me. Nothing? Is there not? You're right, of course. There's too much sweat gone into this farm. You and Grandpa and his dad before. I just can't walk out on it all. There's my girl. You know something? The Brannigan women always had a great name for doing their duty. It was their only failing. Thank you. How's it going? Almost finished. No, that's fine. It must be a little oh. difficult to think with this going on. It certainly is. <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah, can we talk for a couple of minutes? Sure. Problem? Yes, Walter. Now, if you and me could see eye to eye, it shouldn't be difficult to handle. It's those darn beavers building the dam upriver. I've told you before, that dam doesn't stop the water reaching your property. It just regulates the flow. A man's entitled to his constitutional rights. Am not I entitled to water? Now, every summer about this time, that river dries up, and I have to haul water to me beasts. And every summer about this time, I tell you that there's a natural place for a pond on your farm. A little time and money building a dam, and you'd have enough water to see you through any drought. Oh, a couple of sticks of dynamite in that beaver dam would be a lot easier. Now, you try that, and I'll have your hide. Oh, come on. What does it matter to you? One... I want that beaver dam where it is in case there's a fire. Two, beaver is protected. I'm not going to have you slaughtering them with dynamite. Three, what do you know about explosives? I don't want to have to come along and collect you with a sack and shovel. You hear me? Well, let's just say I was listening. Hey, Susanna, we're going for a swim. Want to come? Oh, I'd like to, but I got the hens to feed first. Well, what's the matter with them? Can't they wait a couple of hours? That's not like you, Chubb. Wait a couple of hours for food? Okay, point good. Maybe after you feed them. No, I got a whole heap of other things to do. I guess it's just not possible. Don't you get any vacation? Seems to me it's just as well that you're going to get away from all this. Is something wrong? I get it. Your pop won't let you go, is that it? No, it isn't. I've just decided for myself. I'm not going. I'm not going to take your scholarship. This is my home here. Pop can't run it himself. I've got to stay and, and help look after it. I guess you've got it all figured out. Come on, Chubb, let's go. See you later. Chubb, you were wrong. She hadn't. Hadn't what? Got it all figured out. I know that. That was her poor old dad speaking. For working his fingers bone for 50 years. Gotta do a dirty and look after him. Think I haven't heard all that stuff. I wish there was something we could do. There's nothing we can do unless he wants to let her go. Hey, wait a minute. I got it, I got it. Got what? An idea how we can fix it. Let's go talk to the others about it. You don't know me, Mr. Brannigan. Oh, you're one of them ranger kids. What are you doing snooping around here? We've got a proposition. Not interested. Go away. We've been thinking it might be pretty tough for you. What might? If you ever got left alone or something. I guess the diligent parent's lot is quite a thankless one. Oh, you do, do you? 
all these acres to cherish and the chores to do at the same time? We've been figuring out a way we could put a shoulder to the plow, if you get me. Well, I think I do, but I'm not quite sure. Keep talking. We'd like to do the chores for you. How many of you? Around four or five. Huh. I never knew the district had that many little angels fluttering about looking for good works to do. There would be a slight honorarium. A slight what? Fee. How slight? Dollar a day each. Do I look like a millionaire? <laughs> Fifty cents. We've got to live. Seventy-five. I'm not all that concerned whether you live or not. Sixty. Okay, it's a deal. Start tomorrow, okay? Okay. Be seeing you. <laughs> a deal with your dad. Dear, what kind of a deal? He doesn't know yet, but we're going to prove what a lousy housekeeper you are. Me? Boy, by the time we're finished with him, he's going to be so desperate to get you out of his hair. He might even send you to the city to train for nursing or something. <laughs> breakfast off the floor in there anytime. Mm. I'd eat breakfast anywhere, anytime. Well, you're subhuman. We've got to accept that. Mm. How's it coming? You know what? This is the toughest week's work I've ever done. Well, that was pretty good, and I don't mind admitting it. Glad you liked it, Mr. Brannigan. Guess I'll have to start thinking about my figure. Your figure's just fine, Mr. Brannigan. Don't you worry about it. I don't want to say a word against Susanna. I'm very fond of her. But I guess you must be pretty tired of roughing it the way you have all these years. Could you handle pancakes and maple syrup? You just eat up and enjoy yourself, Mr. Brannigan. Okay? Just call if you want anything. I'll be right outside. doing? I don't know yet, but I think some little cracks are beginning to show, but I wouldn't count on it. Had his dinner? Just finishing. He said he'd look the place over afterwards, before paying the week's wages. I'll bet he'll be pretty pleased. With what? The place or paying the week's wages? <laughs> Certainly clean these up. I scrubbed them real hard. They're real dirty. Oh, waste of time trying to keep up with them, though. They'll be just as bad tomorrow. Get a lot of traffic these steps. Oh, wrong time of the year to be painting these handrails. Too much dust blown about. Throws out a lot of oil, this old heap. Oh, wait till she's been running for a couple of minutes. She won't look like that. Oh, my stomach always plays me up after a heavy meal at this time of day. Well, son? Shall we go and look at the barn? Well, we'll just have to hope that it weathers down a bit, won't we? Did you hear what he said? Like to stick some pins in them? Something like that. Get back down to the end of the cube, bud. It's like I said to Chubb. You can eat off that floor. So what? Cattle have been doing it for years. Do you think they notice anything different? Oh, well, time you kids went home. What about wages? Wages.
gosh, thanks. We were beginning to think. Yes, time you did, son. You take me for an idiot? You think I don't know what you've been trying to do? Soften me up. So that I'll begin to think I can do without Susanna and let her go to the city. Then one day you kids just won't turn up here and I'll be left with a whole place on my hands, isn't that it? And another thing. Just let my girl do her own thinking, will you?
come with us, Peek? Where are you going? Restocking Samson Lake. Like to come? I'd like to. But we have a meeting at the fort this morning. I guess I'd better be there. Electing an execution squad for Mr. Brannigan? Something like that. Not worth it. Let somebody else do it. It's only a matter of time. That's what I think. I'd better go try and persuade them. Have a good trip. Well, I guess the meeting's adjourned. Hey, trouble? I don't know. Pop went out this morning before breakfast, and he hasn't come back yet. Oh, so? Well? Well, it's not like him to go without breakfast. You're not kidding. You've no idea where he went. Only... Only what? Well... There was a box on the table when I got up this morning. A box? Well, it was marked explosives. The beaver dam! Looks like it. Come on, we better go over and take a look. Come on. Come on! Guess he sure fixed that. So long as that's all he's fixed. Let's track back down river. Hey, look! Oh! Is he okay? I think so. He's losing blood, so let's get this log off. Okay, one, two, three. <coughs> one, two, three. Oh, oh, we'll me. never get this thing off. We've got to. How? Look, you've got the walkie-talkie. Why don't we call George? The egg beater can lift this off. Hey, yeah, great idea. Oh, I wish George would come. It's starting to rain. Hey, listen. It's a helicopter. It's George. Yeah. Okay, everybody, out of the way. You too, Susanna. Saved his life by applying this tourniquet. Pity you're not going to be a nurse. Who says she isn't? Is she? Didn't you know she won a scholarship? The Brannigan women were all talented. She's going to the city to continue her education. Oh, Daddy! Well, come on, let's get him to the hospital. Come on, Susan. sir. You. You're going to need some help from that farm of yours. How much? Seventy-five in advance. Sixty. And you've got yourself a deal. 